Hi, Hiram here. Well, here we go again. I've had several requests to do this tea candle test over again with a candle that has five wicks in it rather than the three that I did on the last time. So I prepped one here. Let's light it up, get it started. Might be time for new matches. All I did was I drilled holes in this to hold the wicks and I put the crumbs back on, the wax crumbs, so not to waste them. Okay, there we go. I don't know, can you see that? Five whips, one in the center, four on the outer edge. I've uh, been asked how much does this weigh and what's the size of this tea candle. There's no standard size except for maybe the diameter, but as far as height, there's all kinds of different ones. But the ones that I've been using on these tests are about one and a half inches in diameter and 0.65 inches tall and weigh 15 grams or equal to half of an ounce. Okay, I have two cups of water here, setting at 60 degrees. Let's put that on the wet fire stove. The candle is elevated. Oh, it seems a little bit higher. We'll see what happens with this. But anyway, it's 60 degrees, and let's see where that goes. Here we are 15 minutes into the test, and it's 148 degrees. I don't know what that halo is on there. I had to take the uh, Nivea can out. This candle must be just a little bit taller than the last one I used. Uh, didn't give any room for the wicks. But you can see on this one, even though there's five wicks there, it's like just one big flame. I hope this shows up. I don't I'm getting, like I said, a big halo on my screen here. So let's go to 30 minutes. There we have 211. And there we have 212. It looked like it. 24, I think 47. So we got boiling water in 24 minutes 47 seconds using the five wicks. Now I think on that camera two little bit of video it looked like there was a halo around the flame. I didn't get that before. I think that was because this flame is, must be much hotter. But now, one heck of, I don't know, can you see that? One heck of a lot of soot. And you can see, look at the soot coming up off the candle. So this did get us boiling water finally. In, I guess, not too bad a time. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 24 minutes and 47 seconds, give or take. There's still at least half of the candle still in the wax, or half of the wax is still in the candle. Must be the fumes everywhere. I mean, can you see that? Look at the. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but here there's a. A lot of soot coming off, but that's just what you get with using wax. See if I can blow this out without dumping the wax everywhere. Nope. There we go. Now we really got smoke. So, <clears throat> oh, that's going to be good.
there. Should have done that to begin with. Going to have to open the doors. So that's for the people that said using the uh, five wicks instead of the three instead of the one. We did get boiling water finally, but quite messy. Uh, you know, soot is a problem. So I look forward to your remarks about this, your questions. Always look forward to them. And as always, thank you for watching and watch from my buddy Max. Bye now.